Yeah. Yeah. And if you're looking at the stand mixer and you think, oh my word, I'd love to get one of those, but I'm not sure. Um, I just know there's there's a couple things with Pampered Chef. If you get something and you have it for 30 days, you can get it in your home, try it out, get it out of the box, use it, try it for 30 days, um, get it out, like try it, make things in it. Don't worry about using it, try it. And if you don't love it, you can call your consultant and say, I want to give it back. And they will get Pampered Chef to ship it back and give you all of your money back. If after a year you say, oh, this stand mixer, it's not what I thought it would be, or I'm just not using it or whatever you get and you think you're not using it, you can call up your consultant or your pamper chef and say, I got this, whatever it is, you know, I got this mixing pan or whatever it is, this spatula, I can't imagine, but I got this contraption. I just, I'm not using it. And they will exchange it for something else so you don't have to get stuck with anything that you're not sure about or you're not using pamper chef tools are amazing and they're such high quality but i know husbands men have tools that cost lots of money that sit in their garage that they only use once a year once every few months but i know we want to use things in our kitchen a lot more regularly so don't feel like you're stuck with something you're certainly not you can get it exchanged for anything else, which means you could get lots of other options. That's something that I just had somebody return something to me and I was happy to get something else for her. So don't, yeah, don't get stuck with something. So if you're wanting the stand mixer, absolutely give it a try. I think you're going to love it. I had a really high end mixer before. It didn't have the metal bowl. It didn't have the pre mixes. It couldn't go in the dishwasher. And are the pre settings and I'm absolutely loving it. And it didn't have attachments for things like the, the pasta. I think we lost Ashley cause she lost her connection, but she'll be back. And oh, I'm, she's over there. I'm here. <laughs> I'm talking over there. It's all and, good. I just, I tried the phone thing like you. So oh, we lost the recording. So we're going to have two recordings. It's all good. <laughs> oh. So there's that. And then, um, so you can get the, the, the stand mixer at full price, or you can get it this month in September, you can get it for 60% off. So I can't do the math right now, but that is like a great phenomenal deal. Maybe Ashley can tell you how much that is off, but that's like, this is a great month to be able to get the stand mixer and you can get the past attachments with it when you host as one big, huge bundle, or you can get the past attachments separately. So you could get the stand mixer for 60% off and you could get the past attachments for 50% off. So you could get like a fabulous deal. So don't ever feel with Pampered Chef, you never have to pay full price for anything. And then like you could do like us and you could join and we're going to talk more about that, but you can get even better deals as well. So, yeah. So Ashley, how is your pasta coming out? It's turning out so well. <laughs> it's so fun. So, I'm really excited. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying this whole phone thing as well. Um, okay. And we're just going to see how it works. We are recording. I got back on the computer. It, lo it When I tried to come on my phone, it logged me out out of the computer so oh. anyways <laughs> but yeah, I'm right. gonna try and turn my screen around here just gonna wash my hands but, and I'll be back yeah no there we go okay so you're gonna see oh you'll see yourselves there say hi <laughs> Um, but you are going to see here uh, three different sizes of the pasta. So it starts off as the ball that Judy was showing us. Um, and I just used my uh, bench scraper here to divide it into quarters. So I got four pieces um, and I'm going to show you, we're going to roll this one out and I'll show you the whole process. But basically there are three thicknesses on the pasta roller. So this is my stand mixer and I've got the pasta roller attachment and you'll see here it says three two one so you're, you're going to start with the third thickness 
um, and then go to the second, then go to the first. So this is after you roll it through number three twice. This is what it looks like after you roll it under number two twice. And then this is what it looks like after it's been rolled under number one twice. So we're going to, what we're actually going to do is cut this one in half and then we're going to cut that pasta. Um, but first we are going to show you the whole process from ball of dough here to cutting the pasta. So just see if I can get this so we can see. I might actually move you. So this is the nice thing. Judy had a great idea with the, the phone situation. So let me just see. Okay. So what we're going to do is I am going to just move these noodles over a little bit. And then I've got this, the little quarter of the dough here. And basically the instructions, which also this basic pasta recipe comes with the stand mixer um, pasta roller and cutter set. You get it in the box here. And then it has the three pieces. So the roller, and then it has the spaghetti attachment and the fettuccine attachment. And also very important, the dual sided cleaning brush for cleanup time. <laughs> so what we're going to do over here is we are gonna roll this out. So I've got, let me just see, you can't see that yet. I'm just gonna move these noodles over so you can see them a little better. And I'll move my dough here. I'm looking at it on the screen so I can see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so I've got the tapered rolling pin here, uh, which we've been loving using. Um, and basically, it's you're just wanting to flatten it out a little bit before it goes in the roller. You don't want it too wide because obviously you want it to fit through the roller, but just like so. And now I'm going to move you over here <laughs> so you can watch the mixer in action. Okay, so... All you do with this, this is the roller attachment. You're just going to pull this little knob out and then place it on three. And then as Judy said, so I'm going to cancel this here. I've got it on the custom setting at speed one, and I'm just going to press it and it's going to start rolling once I press it again. <laughs> and I'm just going to pass the noodles through or the dough through. And we're gonna do that two times. Okay, so that is Two passes through setting number three. And I just kind of, I've got lots of flour down here. So I'm just gonna like make sure we don't want it too sticky. So lots of flour is good. And then again, we just pull out the knob and turn it down to setting two. And we're just gonna pass it through two times here. That's incredible. Look at that, guys. Is that twice? <laughs> I'll do it one more time. I think it's twice, but we'll just do it one more time. Look at how easy that is. It's like, it's doing all the work for her. I'll tell you my secret. I did this for the first time yesterday. <laughs> and oh, I, you know what I learned? Don't pile them on top of each other because that, they will all stick together. So you do need to stick them. I don't know how much it is with non-gluten, 
pasta, but I'll tell you with gluten pasta, you definitely want to not pile them on each other, put them separately. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got it on the one, and we're just going to do its final two passes at the one setting. See how long this is getting? Okay, so we've got two of our long, full, fully stretched noodles, pasta, a little overhang here. <laughs> and then this was setting two, this is, just, or sorry, this has gone through setting three and two, just setting three over there. And now what we're going to do is we are going to actually cut the pasta. So because I have two here, sorry, I'm trying to turn it back around. There we go. Because I have two, I'm going to show you the two different thicknesses. So we have a fettuccine, which is what the size that I used last night. And then we also have a spaghetti. Oh, spider man, scared me. Are you okay? It's back to the um, okay, so, and then this is just spaghetti thickness spray. Please back up. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do first, actually, I'm going to just boil my water. So for the noodles, it's not going to take really long, but what takes long sometimes is your water. Yes. So I'm, I'm going to get the water boiling because <laughs> last night that was like the longest part of my dinner was getting my water to boil. <laughs> so yeah. um, with the fresh pasta, it literally only takes a couple of minutes to boil. So once your water's boiling, you're, we're just going to throw our noodles in. Okay. So let's do our fettuccine first. I, what I'm gonna do is get the fly off my noodle here. I'm just, again, going to use my bench. No, no, no. What is this called? Judy, I forget. Oh, it's not the bench scraper. Bench. No, it's the bench scraper, right? Yeah, I think um, so, yeah. The I don't know no. names of things. <laughs> I hadn't used okay, it, so I'm, I did this. So I've got my half so this is half of one piece so you're gonna get eight of these sheets basically with, with the recipe that i did okay so i'm gonna move this one over a little bit have it ready so i'm gonna flour this one because it's looking a little sticky flour that one up a bit Okay, and so we're going to just twist. So this is my roller attachment. We're just twisting it off and we are going to put the fettuccine attachment in and twist, okay? So it's twisted there and the same thing, we are going to just put on custom speed one, and just get it started, and then we're gonna feed it through.
You see, it's beautiful, but it's a cheeny. Okay. So you want to let it sit and just dry out a little bit if you are going to freeze it. So I was going to mention that. So on the back of the pasta card, Judy talked about weighing your flour. You can make the pasta dough ahead of time as well. So you can store uncut pasta dough uh, for up to 18 hours in the refrigerator. So the dough that we that we did, you can store that if you want to make it ahead um, or up to two months in the freezer. All you need to do is let that dough defrost in the refrigerator overnight before using it. Um, and if you want to freeze your fresh pasta after you cut the noodles, we would let them dry on the counter here. Um, and for about 20 minutes until they're no longer tacky, sprinkle with flour, pick up a small bundle of noodles, and you gently twirl it into a nest, which is what I'm going to do with some of this pasta because we're not going to eat it all tonight because um, we've already had dinner. <laughs> and, but then, and then you repeat with the remaining noodles, place it on a sheet pan, then freeze them. Once they're frozen, you can put the nest into a plastic bag and freeze them for up to two months. So if you just had a day where you're like, I'm just going to make a whole bunch of pasta and have it ready to go in the freezer, um, that would be a fun day. Invite some people over, have a pasta day. Um, and then if you want to quickly cook frozen noodles, bring your large pot of salted water to a boil before gently dropping in the frozen pasta nests. Stir the water to loosen the nests and ensure they cook evenly. The pasta should only need three to four minutes to cook, depending on the thickness of the noodles. Okay, so those are a couple tips for you there. Julia, do you want to make some spaghetti with me? You want to make some spaghetti? Yeah, okay, so we're going to twist off the fettuccine attachment here and put on the spaghetti attachment. Okay, same thing. So we're going to cut this in half. Yeah. So gonna we're going to lift it up. Yeah. And then we're going to place it through. Can you hit the button? Can you reach the button for me? Yeah, just push it. Good job. Spaghetti. Oh, Julia, are you okay? And then we will roll it through. I'm wondering, it's pretty sticky. So I'm thinking, yeah. here. What's up? Very sweetie, can you hear what Daddy's saying? Okay, I have more, so you can come help me later if they're if you're not in bed. Okay. Oh, have fun. For three minutes. I hope you got that. Okay. Your yours is so straight and even as well. Like your edges with the gluten free one, they definitely wasn't quite so even and pretty. Um, again, I think it's just it's different. If anybody's worked with gluten free any gluten free flour before, usually we don't roll it out. But I did. I was able to roll it out. Uh, but it just wasn't so even. But I I did use the same rolling pin, and I was able to roll it out. But you put like pressure on with your hands as opposed to a rolling pin. You roll like this. You you push just pressure on like this, and I think that's what makes a difference. So just again, don't be scared off by Ashley's beautiful looking <laughs> everything. Well, I have to show you a close up because it's not all beautiful and I'm gonna tell you my theory of why so oh, okay. um you can see here well I don't know if you can really see it but it's kind of clumped together there I think it was a bit sticky oh. whereas this one I flowered more and it cut like yes. pretty much perfectly so I would say just make sure that your that your noodle like make sure it's flowered well and that it's not too sticky when you're passing it through to cut but I mean I think it's pretty looking pretty great. Yeah. So what I'm just gonna do 
we're not quite boiled here. So I'll let that boil. And what I wanted to talk to you about was um, the special sale that we have going on right now. So Judy mentioned about how our host this month can pick the stand mixer, or if you already have the stand mixer, you can pick the pasta attachments as a 60% off item. And I did the math and this that means the stand mixer is down to 206. So I don't think you can get any, any mixer on the market, first of all, for that kind of a price, let alone the deluxe stand mixer. Um, so so uh, that is an option if you're wanting to get this, if you're not wanting to pay full price for the mixer, um, that is an option. Obviously, you're always welcome to pay full price. <laughs> we love our customers and we need customers, we hope. And we also are really excited about this month, the opportunity that we have for you. So Pamper Chef's anniversary is in the month of October. And look at Judy's got the beautiful, here, I'll maybe take it off gallery or I'll put it on gallery so we can see, see it all there. So this month in the month of, or sorry, in the month of October, we celebrate our Pamper Chef anniversary. So Doris Christopher, our founder, started Pamper Chef uh, on October 15th, 1980. So we are celebrating 44 years as a company, which is incredible uh, in October. But they did a big, huge announcement yesterday that instead of putting on a promotion to become a consultant in the month of October, like they often do, they are doing it for 44 days, which means as of yesterday, you can purchase a consultant kit for as low as $44. So the stoneware kit you'll see that Judy's showing there um, is $44. And then the cookware kits and the small appliance kits are 44% off, which means that you can get one of those cookware kits for $112, or you can get a small appliance kit for $179. So like my mom, who is a consultant, messaged me. She's like, I want that deluxe coffee machine. Like, I, I, I'm like, well, I guess you need to get Michael or dad signed up or something. <laughs> so... <laughs> $179, you not only get one of those small appliances, but you get like $1,000 of other of our best selling products in there as well. So if you have any questions about the Pampered Chef business, we want you to put them in the chat. We're happy to answer them for you now. Um, one of the biggest questions we often get is like, what if I sign up and I realize I don't really want to be a consultant or it's not for me? Once I get going, I get started and I realize it's not for me. Then we say, well, you just got a really sweet deal on your favorite kitchen tools. <laughs> and many of the people who have joined us over the years, oh, my water's boiling. Many of the people who have joined us over the years, we've had, you know, well over 200 people join our organization. And there are several of them. Personally, I know I've worked with with 50 people to help them get to their first career milestone. I know Judy has done near the same. So we are so passionate about helping people get started with their businesses and, and succeed and grow in their businesses. Um, but if you sign up and you realize it's not for you and maybe you come join our community and you're like, ah, it's not really for me, which I don't think you're going to think that <laughs> that's actually one thing from our our consultants um as they can attest to you here in the chat that is one of the things we hear from our community over and over again is that it's not about the kitchen products it's about the community and they just love being a part of our pamper chef community and also specifically our dream builders community here so um we would love to welcome you we have an ambitious goal over the next 40 now three days uh, to welcome 44 new team members. In October of 2021, when we were celebrating 41 years, we welcomed 41 people that month. And that is our record to date. So we believe that in this this 44 day period, we can beat that with 44 new team members. So we would love if you decide that you would like to be one of those team members. A really exciting thing that when you 
are a new consultant with us, you actually can earn the deluxe stand mixer for free and you have six months to do it. It's not like, oh, you have to do it in your first like 10 days of business. You get six months to build your business and earn the stand mixer for free. Um, but if you can't wait six months and you want to buy it, you also have consultant perks where you can earn discounts and all of that. You can actually earn Camper Chef dollars where you can buy products yourself so you don't have to pay anything for your products. So we would love to answer your questions. We'll check in the chat here, um, but we would love to have you join us. Um, and we just want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, so I will check the chat here and then I'll throw these noodles in the water and you'll see how quick they cook. Actually, you know, what? I'm going to turn there. You don't have to see me twice. Um, let's see here. Just going to check. Oh, Joyce, my picture was fuzzy. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's definitely my internet. I hope that, um, I hope uh, it's not choppy, the connection. Oh, Ma Maureen has an excellent tip for us. So she said that she lightly flowers in between each roller setting. And that probably would have helped avoid some of my sticky noodles. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. So what do you think, Maureen? What's the consensus? And you can be honest. Do you think doing it by hand or what do you, so do you do, do you cut and everything and like flatten, like roll them out by hand? Um, but you said in between each roller setting. So I'm interested. That sounds like you're using a machine to roll them out, but you can clarify for us. Um, yeah. Wonderful. This, so we announced about the basil pesto. So Judy, what I'm going to ask while I go do the boiling of the noodles, I'm going to ask if you can pull up the guest list um, and maybe we can just clarify. You know what? I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something tonight. And this is because Lena is here and she's two days old as a consultant. I'm actually going to include our consultants in the draw too. And if a consultant wins, we'll draw again for a guest. Does that sound good? <laughs> One fair. So we let's do that because I believe that's Rachel. Rachel is also one of our team members. So, um, and I don't know, Rebecca, is that it, it, if that's a guest here? Because I know we got our chat cut off when the recording stopped. So maybe if you can share in the chat, just just share if you're a consultant or a guest, just to make sure. Hi, Joyce. Yeah. There you are. Um, yeah, because we've got Lena, we've got Rachel, we've got Carrie, we've got Joyce, Cindy, Rebecca, and Maureen. Okay. So just, we have some team members that have the same names as some of the people here. So we just want to make sure. Rebecca's a guest. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to throw these in the boiling water, the boiling lava. Um, and then just show you how quickly they cook up. All right. Let's see. They definitely cook quickly, no matter whether they're gluten-free or not, they do cook extremely quickly. So that's a huge perk. I couldn't get over it because normally gluten-free pasta, I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting and thinking, oh my, it's not, it's not cooking fast enough. And, and I kind of, um and awe about whether it's done and it was done so quickly and it tasted so good. And I didn't even add all the things I thought I wanted to add to it. So one of the things it said that the the noodles are going to come to the surface. And about one minute after that, then they're like officially ready. So actually, I turned it around too soon. You can kind of see here how they're popping up to the surface. Wonderful. Does anyone else have any other questions? Uh, actually, one other thing I did want to note here. Okay, so Maureen said she mixes the dough by hand. It's easy and I find it relaxing. I love that. And then you roll it slightly with the tapered rolling pin. You have a manual roller that has eight settings and a cut it and a cutter cutter. <laughs> the uncut sheets can be used for lasagna or ravioli. So that's that's a really fun tip that the the uncut sheets, um, these can be used for lasagna or ravioli. That's super fun. 
I'm so excited. Thank goodness we actually have an expert on tonight. <laughs> Since, I mean, Judy's, Judy's more expert than me. She's been practicing a little longer, but I literally did this for the first time last night. So one other thing I just wanted to mention, another sale going on this month is a product sale and it's a sale on our taste buds subscription so this little brown box that comes to your door unless you live out in the country like me where pure later does not deliver um but this little brown box includes three seasonings and sometimes they or actually every month they include at least one exclusive seasoning and so in september it was the moroccan medley and the Asian, because Asian used to be in our product line, but it's now discontinued. Um, and then it had the Jamaican jerk. So this is no longer available. That's the September recipe or subscription, but it comes with the three seasonings and three recipe cards. Um, and on each recipe, it also has ideas for how to use the seasoning in different ways. So the three month subscription and the six month subscription are 25% off this month, which is a huge excuse me, a huge savings. And my subscribers always resubscribe when it's sale month. So there, I actually got a voice or a message from one of my subscribers today. Okay, I'm going to cancel my subscription and reorder with the sale price. Um, so because she's coming up to resubscribe next month. So um, if you are curious about taste buds, feel free to ask any questions about that. We would love to answer them for you. Sounds like my noodles are ready. So I'm going to go check it out. Grab my pasta fork here. <gasps> Can you see that? It is so pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring you over. We're just traveling all over my kitchen today. Bring you over to my sink. And we are going to actually show you another product. And I'm so ready for the draw. For your cake. You are ready. Perfect. Okay, so this is our brilliant two-quart saucepan and it has a strainer on both sides of the lid. Actually, you know what? Before I pour boiling water in, this water is done with the dishwater. And I have you got all the dishes done. Thing. Thank you, Darren. So we're not going to lose any of our precious homemade pasta. And I don't have to like kind of awkwardly put the lid. And I also don't have to wash another strainer as much as I love our strainers. <laughs> but I also, I love not doing dishes more. <laughs> All right. So you see it? They're so pretty i'm gonna see like oh they're i just still can't believe i made these <laughs> it's oh, just mind-blowing it is mind-blowing maureen always told me no this is very bad lighting can you see them they're so, so lovely okay they're so what i'm gonna do is i am going to make while judy does the draw here i'm going to make a little basil pesto sauce for the noodles. Um, and I'm going to eat them because nobody came to join me. So I'm going to eat them <laughs> as my little snack. Um, and so to do it, you use the Pampered Chef basil pesto seasoning, which we're drawing for. And you combine two tablespoons of the seasoning mixed with one tablespoon of water. So a two to one ratio. And then you just let that rehydrate for three, two to three minutes add three tablespoons of olive oil and mix well. So just remember two seasoning, one water, let it go for two to three minutes, three tablespoons of olive oil. And that's your little pesto sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna make that. Judy, go ahead and do our draw. Okay, we have Cindy, Joyce, Corita, Lena, Maureen, Rachel, and Rebecca. Did I miss anybody? And leave anybody out? Let me just check the chat. Did I miss anybody? Rebecca, Maureen, Rachel, Cindy, Joyce, Krita, sorry if I said your name wrong, Lena. Okay, got everybody. All right, guys. 
You won't get to hear the pretty sound because you know, blast your eardrums out. Here we go. I will just turn my camera around. There you go. All right, let's go. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Let's see who our winner is. Oh, Rachel. Yay, Rachel. Yay. So I think, Rach, that I believe Rachel is Rachel Bylas. I think that's one of our team members, right? Is that right, Rach? Let me know. Because <laughs> if so, we're going to draw again. You're the winner, and we're going to draw again. That's you, right? I think I saw her at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Let's okay. let's just let's let's draw again. Because okay. I could, I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> hey, we've got Lena. Oh no, Maureen. <laughs> Very close, Lena. <laughs> Very close. Sorry, Lena. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> Judy's going to send Maureen. you a basil pesto, Lena. <laughs> right? There you go. Yeah, I owe Marina. All right. I, yeah. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so, so much for joining us tonight, everyone. And if you're watching this in the replay, again, sorry that there's two parts, but that was my techie yeah. mistake. Um, That's we are good. so, so thrilled. Uh, that you joined us tonight and I hope you had fun. And if you have any questions about um, purchasing any of the items, reach out to your Pamper Chef consultant um, and they would be happy to, to help you, to help answer any questions, like Judy said. Um, if you're interested in hosting, we would love to partner with you with these amazing September rewards. Um, but really, what we really, really want to do is partner with you in your own business. We want to help you make another income and have fun doing it earn some free kitchen tools while you're doing it and uh, so thank you so much for joining us and uh, don't forget to tell them about the draw that we have for them when they tell them about the draws <laughs> thank you judy so this month everyone who joins us including lena and carrie so our we have two new team members who have already joined us since september there's some minutes we heard um, we have two new team members who have already joined us who are in on the draw um, and anyone else who joins us by September at midnight um, is going to be entered to win the $44 stoneware kit for free. So if you want to choose a larger kit, just give me it. No, I'm talking right now. Honey. If you would like one of the larger kits, the cookware or one of the small appliance, we will apply that $44 credit toward whatever kit you choose. So it's a free stoneware kit or the $44 credit toward one of you, whatever kit you choose. So every single one of our new team members in September will be entered to win that. Okay. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you again so much for joining us. And we will chat with you soon. Bye.